Welcome back to Rock Bottom. Welcome back to Rock one, Bottom. One of the things that I that I that I noticed just before is like this game is so bad at oh, fuck, this. Dude, it's instance, Shadow Guard. It's one, this, for instance, like like you just couldn't do it there. No, so, so one of the things that's uh, that's really apparent about this game is you can't really wow <laughs> can't really make its mind up when you when you need to skip objectives and when you need to absolutely do objectives, and that's what it's torn between. A lot of the time, yeah, you, you know that, because sometimes it's like, oh, you have to do this before you can before you can progress. Like, uh, like the Kashyyyk boss battle with the with the dude. It's like you have, it's like you just have to do this before you before you do anything else. And then there are the. Uh, I thought they're just waiting. Oh yeah, it's just oh, it's just like that scene. For a little bit. Oh yeah, but damage me. While <laughs> it's just like. It's just like in that uh, in that scene from the Last Jedi where they literally wait their turn. Oh shit! They literally just wait their turn. And what? Uh, there, there, there was a wonderful uh, there was a wonderful little clip that showed that um, Conveniently, one of the one of the dudes who had like dual daggers, dual vibro daggers, or whatever. One of his daggers conveniently disappears in, in in a place where he would have absolutely been able to just absolutely stab the living fuck out of Ray. <laughs> she has so, so thick plot armor that that his weapon literally disappears. Damn. Yeah. Can we, we get some of that, please? Isn't that something? <laughs> this guy, this guy has unleashed his force. Damn. When do we get to do that? Not off now. Only one stick. <laughs> it's I can't believe that this guy, this fucking, this fucking guy, Star Iller. The Stargist of Illers. <laughs> Star Iller is actually the dude who voiced Darth Maul. No, yeah, shit. I can't believe it. And he was so good as Darth Maul. Like, if you can command Clancy Brown around. <laughs> then you're a pretty sick dude, you know? And he absolutely did that. Damn. Like, they introduced... What the fuck? Clancy Brown's character... This game is perfect. Clancy Brown's character... Don't you dare say otherwise. Clancy Brown's character... Um, Savage Press. <laughs> his actual name. Was, of course, Dot Maul's brother. Was introduced as this dude that they then... Uh, they, who was like he was already. I mean, he started out as out as a pretty uh, as a pretty like um, lady. No, he he was he was a, a brainy fighter, not a oh, yeah. not a brawny um, not a brawny angry Sith dude. He was a brainy fighter and had pretty he had a lot of compassion and stuff. But he was the best fighter in his tribe, and so he was he was chosen to become um, he was chosen to become a. Uh, a new, a new, a new Sith bodyguard type for uh, Dooku in the Clone Wars. All right. He had, he had, uh, he had previously had Asajj Ventress as his bodyguard slash assassin, but she was not cool. Hmm. Whatever. So, so Dooku was like, oh, I guess I'll go to the same place that I, I'll, I'll go to her tribe and and ask for <laughs> a better, a, a better something, and then and then the. the <laughs> The leader of the Night Sisters, Mother Tolson, Darth Maul's mom, uh, who of whom this tribe that Asajj Ventress had also come from, um, was like, "Oh yeah, let's fuck with him. Like we, we're not gonna stand for this. Let's fuck with him and actually just <laughs> m make someone that we can magically control to to backstab Dooku at some point." Oh Jesus! Yeah. So they took one of Darth Maul's brothers. Who was a really nice dude, basically, and then just Sith alchemy the fuck out of him to make him this giant <laughs> fucking Sith brute, Wait, what? voiced by uh, voiced by Clancy Brown, and then later on when he breaks control from uh, from from Dooku and and all of that sort of stuff, he tracks down Darth Maul, and at first he cares for him, and then the moment Darth Maul gets his mind back, he uh, he's like, 
he just yes. asserts himself in, and, and dominates <laughs> Savasho Press and, and he's like, no, you shall become my <laughs> apprentice. Did they just... My brother, you shall become my apprentice. Uh, so like, Always two there must be. <sighs> and so they they run around and do some, some nice fucked up shit together and it's just beautiful. <laughs> Is this the final battle? Uh, almost. The penultimate battle? <laughs> Do you know about the term uh, in storytelling? Uh, the term dragon. You have nothing left to teach me. Like, I don't think so. No, Darth Vader is the dragon, uh, and he always was in Star Wars. The beast to be slain. No, or what? more so that there is a darker evil power behind him. Oh, okay. And he is the physical confrontation, and then oh. and then the master is like the moral or the or the. the Oh, they like the test more so. Right. Which is what, so Darth Vader is, is Luke's dragon. And he also absolutely is Stark Killer's dragon. What? Wow. You heard me mashing. Yep. You heard me force mashing. I mean, that's mashing that would do good in Final Fantasy VIII. Apparently I can. Oh, because you had to force your way? No, I mean with the uh, summon. Oh, right. Before, oh, uh, my God. If we, if we ever play Final Fantasy VIII, that's going to be a lot of tapping. That's going to be a lot of tapping. Oh, shit. There's, <laughs> there's a mechanic uh, where you can boost your... Oh, right. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay. There's a mechanic in Final Fantasy VIII where you can boost the damage of your summons by mashing a button, basically. Yeah. But you have to mash it in, in the right intervals, otherwise it doesn't work. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, right. that's that's what makes it even worse. You forgot about that? Yeah, I did. Huh. I could never forget. <laughs> destruction bonus. Destruction bonus. What am I doing? Am I? Is that destruction bonus in the middle? Like, I coming think... down. What did protruding. I... Did I? Did I just give him brain damage? Did I just you... brain damage Darth Vader from fucking whacking him over the skull? I, th I think he's uh, he's he's got glow sticks all of a sudden. I, I He's just, raving so hard inside his head. Just fucking brain damage Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, 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 it's oh, it's Dragon Ball now. Oh, what? There's so many mechanics that just throw at me here that I... And they make no fucking sense here. No, I mean, there is that thing about Darth Vader never using... Never using uh, Force Lightning because it would damage his cybernetics. Can oh. I please? No. I guess not, yo. You... I damaged my football again. I just... I could just take the same fuck. Okay, there we go. Oh. Oh, oh my god, the yeah. input is so delayed. And I just... Oh. <laughs> this is not Better fun. Better delayed than never. This is not fun. Okay, wow. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't seem to be able to actually target him right here. Yep. And I just, I can't do anything because he just whips everything out. <laughs> He's just whipping it out. But like that, I can't, I can't grab a hold of it. I can't do anything to it. Am I supposed to just blast it is, out of the sky? Yeah, I am. Is this your unavoidable chin move? <laughs> no. Is this what it is to you? No, because the unavoidable chin move is very avoidable. <laughs> In case you hadn't noticed. Okay, well, here we go. To be fair, you also are not actually Iron Hands. No, I I would like your father. Oh, what? I would I would expect to, to actually be a little bit more proficient generally than Aaron Hansen, but <laughs> I mean, this game this game doesn't <laughs> do good for me. No, and my gamer skills, <laughs> my lead gamer skills. God. Defeat Earth Murder. As you know, I, I am a, I'm a big fan of the, uh, of the Rant Grump subreddit. Oh, oh God. yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, jeez. Not, oh, not that I'm unfamiliar with it. You never know. I, I think, uh, aside from, from the whining, there's a lot of legitimate criticism that's just not allowed on the main, uh, Game Grumps, Game Grumps sub. Like the main Game Grumps sub is so afraid of, of actual criticism. That it's like it's refreshing to go on rank grumps. I don't think that it's not allowed, but it's just you know it's Reddit and every yeah. subreddit has its own little circle jerking yeah. going off. And I on, mean, and Game Grumps is just very circle jerking. 
in that sense. Every subreddit is. Yes, okay. <laughs> but the thing is, that's my point with, with Rank Grumps. I like going there because there's actual criticism. So I can circle jerk in my criticism going, Yeah, I know! <laughs> I know, right? Game Grumps do suck! <laughs> no, no, but like... Uh, uh, apparently Aaron recently said that he considers himself... What? It, it's just fucking impossible if you miss the first one. Apparently, Aaron just recently uh, said that he considers himself an above-average uh, skilled gamer, and Rank Grumps fucking exploded. <laughs> <laughs> they were not having any of that shit. I mean, yeah, no. I mean, I guess if they're going with that whole point about the frying the. Yeah, it's yeah, so that, I, I can see, it's I can so see, delayed. it's terrible. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose you can just gently drop down a bomb next to him. It's, every time I try and, and do something, it's like the, the, the targeting switches just before I actually press the button. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it, it what, does, what does it matter? It gently damages me. What does what does that matter? I don't I don't think you you realize as well how just off putting the the shifting of like I won't say perspective, but the controls just become even worse when you move around this circular area. Yeah. It's like it's like it's not one to one with with the perspective. It's uh, really weird. God. How many do you have to get? Three. But, but is it like a best of three or? Uh, yeah, I, I do believe so. Oh, okay. But it's 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 really tough. Oh yeah, yeah. It's really tough, and it's not just like yeah, timing is fine. It really is fucking delayed. It really is fucking delayed. What am I supposed to do there? I'm I'm mashing with all my power. I, ugh, I hate being. What am I gonna do? I hate being knocked down. It's the worst thing in this game. It, it is. It is. Oh, it it pushes like it's just. Why is it so? It, why does the lightning persist? No, the, <laughs> and why is it my lightning and not his lightning? Yes, his purple lightning. No, so the, the thing about the whole this whole lightning uh, nonsense is that you see, I don't know if you noticed, but but you can see. Oh wow, <laughs> you can see that it that it meets in the middle. But the thing is, whenever you get like this lightning clash, you never know which mechanic to push back. Pops yeah, up, yeah. And it's like any of the like free, I guess. So there's a mashing, there's a there's a <sighs> wiggling, and then there's the timing that's terrible. But I mean uh, Like this, for instance, yeah. right? What's the point of bending down the uh, the platform if you can just stand in the middle anyway? Oh it, it does damage me a little bit. Oh okay, okay. But ever so gently. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's this oh my fuck. <laughs> Showdown time! <laughs> <laughs> Just gently nudge him. Uh, oh but see the, the moment that I the, Yeah yeah the, the the perspective shifts a lot. For such small movement. Yeah, I really and there is a way to log on to him, I just I, I never seem to remember it's R1 or something. But again, then I would have to. Where the fuck am I? I oh, don't there. know. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's it's just so fucking bad. And I know that also. I'm get, I'm not disagreeing. I know that gets super tiring to listen. Oh wow, are you kidding me? All of a sudden he just becomes super champ. Yeah, but it's Darth Vader. Yeah, it's because I'm not supposed to be on this platform with him. Right. Right. Is it just me or am I damaging him up a lot with the with the you know, saber throws sometimes? But only sometimes. Oh yeah, wow, that's a good chunk actually. Was it though? No, it's not. It's about as much as when you win the uh a struggle? Yeah. So uh, by, by all means keep this doing that. Fucking movement. And I, I don't it, know, it's the most effective thing you've done so far. I don't know if, if it translates as well, but yeah, when it hits. I don't know if it oh, yeah. translates as well, but like when I when I go over the edge here, I <laughs> I get like stuck on on the edge of it, so that I can't I can't quite move uh, properly. Oh, this is good. I'm this giving, is really good. Also, the green shit is like the damage or I think my log on just went away there. 
<laughs> oh, he's deflecting. Okay. Defending or whatever the it's hell it is. Hard to tell. When, he, when he puts his arm forward. <laughs> it's hard to tell. It, it really is. It's actually hard to tell. So whenever he's distracted, he's going to take damage. Oh, just the, the delay between when I actually push the jump button and when it actually happens. Can you just keep throwing your lightsaber at him? I mean, I suppose right there I couldn't, I couldn't at all target him. Nope. And right now I can't do anything at all. Damn. Yeah, so he... Putting your hand forward apparently stops everything. But that's... Oh, no, he's doing a Kamehameha. Yeah, that's uh, that, that's pretty baseline for, for Darth Vader, you know. He had, oh, wow, it locked onto something behind <laughs> me. So when he says talk to the hand, he really just... No, but uh, don't you remember he uh, he blocked laser bolts with his uh, cybernetic hands in the movies? Did he? Yeah. Blaster bolts, I mean. I do not remember that. No, he did that. To be fair, it's been a very long time since I've seen them. He did that in, any of them. in some of his first appearances, and he also did it in the... Uh, in the Bespin uh, scene where, you know, he uh, he set the table for Han and uh, and friends and he was being really nice and polite and stuff and then they just walk in and started shooting him. <laughs> and he blocks those bolts with his, with his hand. All well. right. Yeah, he set the table and everything. He made dinner for them. What a nice guy. And then he just starts blasting what? him. <laughs> oh, dramatic jump. Oh, I hate the reverse grip. Yeah, and of course, battle damage on Vader. Because, yay. Like he oh, Batman. he did the actual Luke thing almost there. Oh, yeah. Huh. And th then he did the Good fucking... Stu what, did I fail that one before? I guess I did. Huh. Yeah, yeah. You got it. Oh, wow. Grind him against the, uh, the ray shield. I mean, I would say that's really cruel, but nothing happened when we restood on it, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, What's that supposed to say? We signify? actually got a cutscene. Kill him! He was weak! Bro, no, he wasn't. What the hell are you on about? So, uh, what do we want to do? I thought like we fuck him up. Do we kill the Emperor? Yeah. Help him! <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah, so what do we do? Well, well what, what's our options here? Our options is either we go here or we go to Vader. Well, if we go to Vader, we go to kill him, don't we? Yeah. yeah fuck that. At the expense of of uh, of the guy Nero from uh, from Sun Anarchy. I don't remember. Uh, Organa. <laughs> Look, we just fucking school Vader. We can take the. We Emperor. can take him again. <laughs> oh, again? <laughs> oh, I... If need be, we could we could we could school him again. This guy's fucking slippery, yo. <laughs> Oh wow. Dude, this guy has an army of space marines. Hey, he sure does. Wow. Is this really what's happening? It's so slow. I oh wow. Is this actually Warhammer 4000? I mean I, I wish. <laughs> Is this the god emperor of mankind? <laughs> Is that what's happening here? Ah, uh, God King One Hope. Oh god. <laughs> I really want to read those again. Those God, books. Yeah. Dorian from uh, from the uh, from the Night Angel trilogy. Basically, my favorite character in anything. That's pretty fucking cool. His his story arc was so fucking dope. Just just this just this benign healer dude <laughs> who uh, who gives into his baser natures and become and becomes um, becomes just god king of uh, of just rape nation. But I just <laughs> rape nation. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, We're really like you know, he's well aware of the power he's tapping into. He's and he's well aware of of th that he's giving into his base of natures to, and he's he's not making any he's not making any concessions about how I'm gonna change my family's kingdom and the and the horrible tendencies that are in here. No, he's like I need to embody them to yeah. steer them in the right direction and 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 use them for my own means no matter what basically and he just the way that the way that he gets there and the way that he gets away from there it's just both of, both of those little story arts are so good oh yeah the the you uh, know for the incredibly powerful force so that the emperor is this is kind of lame dorian has two extremely cool moments one one is where he he has like a prophetic gift 
that's really cool. Uh, where he's he, it kind of messes with his mind a lot. Yeah. Uh, to begin with, and that's so. So at one point he comes he comes into close proximity with a being of such extreme power that it's really really fucking him up. Like think think like in Dragon Ball. Where a lot of the characters they just they freeze when when they come into into contact with some of the really powerful characters. Yeah, and he he's it drives him absolutely mad for a second, so much so that he has to magically burn out his uh, his, his prophetic <laughs> gift from his own mind. Oh yeah, shit. Yeah, well, then. that's really cool. And then there's the other time where he he has another power, uh, which is like his family's power, a dark. A dark, like parasitic magic source that lives underneath your skin and grows the more you tap into it, and it, it, it's basically the dark side. Pretty much. And and then when the he, more you fucking tap into it, it covers more and more of your body, and it just it again it dominates your your. Yeah, it's corrupting as fuck. It's corrupting as fuck, and he he is. The first time we actually uh, see him use it, it's it becomes very apparent that he was. Before before he he turned away from it, he was an absolute master of it. Oh yes, one of the most powerful beings in the world at this power, and then and then when he relinquishes his power as God King, he also rips this thing out of his own body and it returns his his prophetic gift, but also the madness that came with it big time. Oh yeah, yeah. Those two moments are fucking beautiful, and we'll we'll return to this uh, this terrible terrible boss fight next time on Rock Bottom. Huzzah! See you then. Bye. Goodbye. Click subscribe. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Just click that button and your journey to the dark side will be complete. <laughs> Please, we've been at this for a year. It, it needs to be over. Something has to happen. Almost a year. Depending on when I actually edit this. Oh, God. We'll see you next time on Rock Bottom anyway. Bye. Bye.